Jonathan Brab, what a Barnsley chap And he liked a pint of ale That's why his nose were all as red And his cheeks were all... Now, a miner's tradition is being brought back this afternoon at Doddeth Miner's Welfare to combat loneliness. But now the Collier's Monday, which it's hoped will be a monthly event, is open to everyone. Paul Hilton is one of the trustees of Doddeth Miner's Welfare. Paul, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And it's uh, been brought back from the brink, hasn't it, the Miner's Welfare? It was going to close four years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were in dire straits. Uh, for seeing in the pandemic, obviously, things have been a bit rough in in pit villages, as you know, but uh, here we are, Dodworth Miners Welfare, the heart of the village in Dodworth, Junction, Junction 37 of F1. Uh, fantastic facilities, fantastic facilities we've got here. So today's started at one, didn't the event, and it's going on till five. Just tell us what's happening. Basically, what's happening is uh, our Miners Welfare as clubhouse, uh, we've got some brilliant facilities. Uh, excellent football team, rugby team, bowling sections, with a brass band, boxing section, uh, with a boxing gym. There are all sorts of activities that's available up here uh, for the community, but we, we, we're finding that uh, we're not viable or feasible to, to open this clubhouse through the daytime. What we're wanting to do is, is push, make people aware of what's available up here, uh, and, and, and breathe a bit of life into the clubhouse and in, into the community. We've, we've got involved with Age UK for this, this first event. We're doing a little bit of work with them, uh, a brilliant charity. They've, they've helped us get this, this up and running and, and off the ground. And they're up here today uh, speaking to old colliers, not necessarily just old colliers, colliers, widows, uh, old people out in the village, uh, just making them aware of what, what is actually out there and available for them. It's, it's, been, quite... it's, been, fant- it's been a fantastic success this morning. It's quite an old tradition, isn't it then, Paul? I mean, opening up for miners on a Monday who'd worked over the weekend. It usually went, I mean, it used to be a long-standing joke at minute back in the day when, when, when pit men were well paid. Uh, they used to stick a weekend shift in and get two for one, time and a half or double time and uh, put a rest day in for Monday and call it Collier's Monday. It used to be a joke in, in any other industry, even factories. They used to, if somebody didn't turn in for work on a Monday, they'd say, we've all been Collier's Monday. Uh, and, and when pubs were busy, that's what they used to do. What what we've done today is try to revive that predominantly to get to get old lads together that that, that have been struggling, uh, lending an ear. I mean, it's good to listen and it's good to talk. We try to combat loneliness uh, and other associated illnesses and ailments that come with getting old. Uh, there's there's not much available free space and free time for anybody to do uh, in this expensive world we're living in and what we're trying to do is create a regular event where people can come, share the stories share the problems more than anything uh, and laughter's a good tonic for any ailment uh, we've had a lot of laughter this morning up to now and, and it's going strong we've, we've managed to get at least 150 people out of the house that wouldn't normally be be venturing past the front doorstep. For me, today has been it's been phenomenal. It's, it's, a, it's a brilliant success. Oh, that's great to hear, Paul. It really is. It's a great idea as well. So, what's the reaction been like when you've been talking to people? What have they said? The, the people that I've had time to speak to today, they, they've loved it and, and they would like it to continue. It's it's, it's just nice to get together. Uh, like I explained, we're in the heart of the village at Dodworth. This used to be the hub of the community. The village has grown since the pit closes with new developments and factories and, and housing developments around the village. It, it's increased fivefold, but a lot of the people that's moved into the area don't even know that we that we exist and what we have got to offer uh, as a welfare. Uh, it's free space. It's, it's a charity. We're run with a charity. It's predominantly run by volunteers. What I'd like to see is is, is the place become viable. Viable, viable enough, if I can get that one out, viable enough to, to, to create a bit of employment and, and, and let's open five, six, seven days a week. What, do, do what we can for community and, and look after the elderly and look after the vulnerable. That's a great story and it's hopefully it's all going to run 
all into the future. Paul, thanks ever so much for talking to us on BBC Radio Sheffield. Paul Hilton there, one of the trustees of Dodworth Miners Welfare. Well, this is Dodworth Miners Welfare, known as Dodworth. It's a fantastic facility with lots of sports facilities. And the aim here is to try and bring the community together to put on activities for elderly people, for the community, and just bring the community of Dodworth together. And today has been a fantastic day. Collier as Monday, a new tradition that started here at Dodworth Miners Welfare. And uh, it's one of the organisers is Paul Hilton. Just tell me, how did this idea come about? What, what, whose idea was it and where did it come from? It was a collective idea with a couple of old, old Collier pit lads that, uh, as you've explained, with some fantastic facilities up here in the heart of the village. Mm. It was a hub of the community. Uh, they all come about miners' welfares through uh, landowners, colliery owners, welfare facilities. They're a dying thing. Colliers have gone, mine workers are dying. The contributions that came from every industry, from mine workers into welfare schemes, it finished. Where we are now at the moment, we're partly, partly a charity and partly run by, by union people, but predominantly, predominantly, the, everything, all the activities that are here, are run and organised by volunteers. This place, this building, it's the heart of the community. We find ourselves closed throughout the daytime where we've got people, old people, old colliers, widows, they're at house, there's nothing to do, there's no activities for them to participate in. What, green space aside, what do you do, what do you want to do for people that are lonely and isolated? We want to see, we want this place to be, to be viable, to be able to be open seven days a week, afternoon and evening, and attract new groups of people, uh, whether it be book clubs, walking clubs, any organisation within the community that can get a, a few people together and they've got somewhere to come, somewhere to work from and a base, which will allow us to utilise this space through the daytime as opposed to being closed. And just finally, this has been the first of your Collier's Monday. It is, it's been yeah, a fantastic yeah. success. What do you, how do you feel about how it's gone today? After, it's a fantastic tonic. We've seen it in there today. Well, Paul. Good luck for the future. I wish you all the best in your ambition to achieve oh, that. And I hope to come you. back in a year's time and find uh, all your plans that have oh, come to fruition. I, I, I just want to thank everybody that's been here, that's, that's had made effort to come. And hopefully we can get it the monthly thing. And, and... Thank you very much for joining us. That's the first of the Collier's Mondays here at Doddeth Miners Welfare. The first, we hope, of many. He back up, but I'm cold. He back up. Me arms are like stone, me feet's like lead I ain't been warm since I left me bed I get right up to fire As near as I'm allowed